Good evening, I'm Karen Larson with some of the latest news from Two Works For You. I just want the community to really come in like solidarity and just support each other. I don't want anything violent or anything like a riot. I just want the community to be whole and just support one another. Kai Cook organized a protest in Claremore tonight. The 15 year old says her mom wouldn't let her attend the Tulsa protest, so she decided to organize one at Gazebo Park. When clergy members sent up a separate protest across town saying there wasn't any minority representation at the first demonstration, Cook and her fellow protesters dropped by to listen, and then they marched through Claremore. The groups shared the goal of demonstrating their support for justice after the death of George Floyd in police custody. And a second day of cleanup after a second night of unrest in Tulsa. Vandals targeted many businesses near 71st and South Memorial overnight as Tulsa police and the Oklahoma National Guard try to disperse the crowd. Some veterans stepped in to protect the GNC store and today the same group helping clean up saying it's a sense of duty. That we're, we're known to actually try to you know help out with the community. Uh, you know the community is very important to us. And that's why we're here. Davis says he and his fellow veterans will go wherever they're needed to serve their fellow Oklahomans in these trying times. And four people are behind bars after last night's demonstration turned violent with people breaking windows and throwing rocks at police. Richard Berriman was arrested on a charge of inciting a riot and damaging the AutoZone store. Terrell Mayfield and Landon Johnson are accused of throwing rocks at police officers. And Keith Warren was arrested and booked on a charge of public intoxication. Hot conditions expected as we go through the weekend. Highs are going to be in the mid-90s. Heat index values will make it feel more like 100 degrees for your Saturday and Sunday. We're going to track Tropical Storm Cristobal, which will eventually move towards the Gulf of Coast states. And that could impact our weather by early next week with increasing chances for rain and thunderstorms in the area by Monday and Tuesday of next week. All right, thank you, Mike. Look for more news, weather, and sports on our website and app anytime when you're on the go. And don't forget to wake up with Corey, Travis, and Clint. Our Two Works morning team will be on air from 4.30 to 7.00.